Well, thanks for viewing. We're in 1 Corinthians 14. We're looking at spiritual gifts. And here Paul the Apostle says, he begins this, as he was talking about love in chapter 13, because it's important that everything we do for the Lord in life, it's always to be based on love. Love is the greatest. It supersedes everything else. It says, he says, pursue love. So pursue love. But then he also adds on, he says, earnestly desire the spiritual gifts. So every believer, every child of God, every Christian, the Spirit of God is within us. And he has endowed us with, with spiritual gifts. And Paul is saying we should earnestly desire that, earnestly desire to see those gifts come into fruition, come into operation, not to elevate ourselves, make us famous and well-known or to show how spiritual we are, but so that we can be a blessing to other believers, blessing to the body of Christ and to the world so we can get the message of the gospel, the power of, of Jesus across to the world, his saving power, his power to deliver people and set people free. So pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts. So it's something that we have to desire. You know, we can not just sit back and be at ease and just take things easy, you know. Um, but Paul is saying, no, 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 no. I want you to, er not just to desire, but earnestly to desire with a passion the gifts of the Spirit, the spiritual gifts. We need to have that intensity, that fervor, that fire within us. As Jesus said, as John said about Jesus, he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And sometimes, you know, we're walking with God for many years and the fire that was there initially has kind of simmered down. And we need to rekindle that fire again. So Paul is saying earnestly desire the spiritual gifts. He says especially. Now he's placing emphasis on one particular gift. Why? especially that you may prophesy. Why is he saying that? Because what was happening is that many people in the church of Corinth, they were speaking in tongues and it was not really managed properly. It was not operating properly. I mean, human beings, you know how we are, you know, sinful human nature, uh, beings uh, uh, with a sinful nature and even within the church saints of God we can try to elevate ourselves we want to show how important how spiritual we are how powerful we are how God is using us how uh, we're so special within the body of Christ but Paul is saying no um you know this this entire way this um indecent manner this this disorder that is coming with the, uh, the speaking in tongues and the service causing disruption things are not being done properly he said this doesn't bring glory and honor to God he says listen I want you to desire to prophesy, to prophesy. And there's a reason for that. So um, I'm going to end with that today. Paul is saying pursue love and earnestly desire. God, give us a passion in our hearts. Help us to desire more and more of you and desire the gifts of the Spirit of God in our lives. And the, the gifts of the Spirit be in operation in the church more and more today in the name of Jesus and especially the gift of prophecy. In Jesus' name.